Hello everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everybody's well. Who knows what time it is. We are in Mercury Retrograde Pre-Shadow for the first Mercury Retrograde of 2022. And I feel like a kidney candy store, I'm not going to lie, because this is a special time of year. Where the universe gives us one of the greatest gifts it can give us. An opportunity for soul growth. And for that soul growth to be tested. Yes, yes, friends. As much of a pain in the rump as it is, Mercury Retrograde is indeed a gift. So, air sign friends, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's do a pre-shadow reading. Let's get a little insight into what might be coming back to haunt you and what you might do about it. All right. We're going to pull a moonology real quick and we're not going to look at it till the end. Don't look at it. We're going to pull a wisdom. We're not going to look at it till the end. Don't look at it. And we're going to tip down. We're going to see what the universe has. There, you can see more of the table now. Hierophant. All right. Maybe a Taurus you're dealing with. You could have Taurus in your chart. They could have Taurus in your chart. In their chart. Could be someone you were married to, engaged to. Ace of Wands, Ace of, Wands, Ace of Swords decided to come out together. It could have been a fire sign, could have been an air sign, could have had both of them in their charts. Oh man. Your lesson here was not to be so anxious. Their lesson was that things have to come to an end before new things can begin. I feel like an honest conversation took place at some point with this Queen of Swords. What on this Eight of Wands? Seven of Wands reversed. This conversation left them defeated. Possibly they wanted to move a little bit too quick. Three wands. 
you wanted to wait, so you wanted to put more work into it. There was work to be done. There was work to be done. Queen of Swords again. They were left a little wounded by this. Broke it off. Sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. Wow. You asked for patience. One on the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. You were left confused. Possibly decided to explore their options. Ace of Swords. Okay. Why death reversed for them? Heavily guarded, one more. Heavily guarded or one last go? Emperor. Could have been an Aries. More fire. Also have Scorpio, Pisces. A little bit everybody, really. Wow. 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 It's my way or the highway. No redos. Okay, why do you need to not be so anxious? Two of Swords. I mean, why the two of swords? I don't know. I, I'm catching like, okay, my spidey sense is telling me that you were a band-aid for them. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You made the right choice. You made the right call. And I feel like if this comes back around, similar situation, you're going to make the right call again. talk about their lesson. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands reversed. Patience. You have to wait for cycles to close before new ones can open because if you try to open a new cycle before you close out an old one, you just re end up repeating the same cycle. Nine of Swords, your lesson is anxiety. Eight of Cups, their lesson is moving on. Five of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Huh. Wasn't that interesting. Lock is on your side. Tick.
New moon in Sagittarius. I'm just reading cards, guys. Don't look at me. I'm just reading cards. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks, but be careful. You don't bet the farm on something here as the wheel of fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps this time to change your mind, perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip is coming up. A trip away is coming up if that's something you're working to achieve. But overall, the message of this card is that whatever happens next will be a sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your own view. Number 30, TikTok. Hmm. There's a message for someone. There's a message for everyone. And perhaps the message is for no one. TikTok. Timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creatively, beauty, chaos, and order, were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting air sign, friends. Very interesting. This is just the pre-shadow read, so we'll do one again next week. We'll see if the messages have changed. Have fun with it. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.